frequently when trying to explain evolution to a creationist, we, we come across a problem that goes even before step one, which is that a creationist doesn't know why evolution is science because they don't know what science is. And uh, that's definitely a quick way to start off on the wrong foot. Using a couple examples of the way a conversation about what science is with the creationist very often goes, we can, using layman's terms and in very simple terms, explain what science is to them and therefore why evolution is a fact. Technically, science doesn't deal in facts. It sort of does. But if there's one thing science doesn't deal in, that's an uh, absolute truth. Unfortunately, you're going to run into a lot of believers who think that facts and absolute truth are synonymous. What facts are, are almost axioms. That's an, another thing that barely even exists in science. That is basically, until further notice, until the day when it isn't true, it is basically something you can count on to explain reality every day, any day, for anybody. What a believer is usually dealing with is, is faith. And they're, very often their impulse is going to be to try to accuse you of also believing things on faith. Hilariously, I've noticed that a lot of times they say, well, when you turn the light switch on in your, in your house, you have faith that the lights will turn on. No, I have scientific evidence that the lights will turn on. The lights turn on every time I turn them on. I come in my house, I turn the lights on, the lights come on. I have evidence that the lights are always going to turn on, and I have, get this, the ability to predict that if I flip the switch, the lights will turn on. Now you might say, what if the power is out? What if your light bulb's dead? The lights won't turn on. Well, I can also say, based on evidence, that I can go and unscrew that light bulb. And if it's all brown and fuzzy, you know, if I'm using an old incandescent bulb, well then I know that if I screw another light bulb in and go around and turn the switch, the lights will come back on. So it's, I know that by science too. Well, you know, what if it still doesn't come on? Well, I can call the power company. <laughs> and if they say, your power's out because of a storm, then I know, know why the lights are out. Now, if I know absolute truth exists because of divine revelation, well, you have a problem. I don't know how divine revelation works. You can't tell me when you can get divine revelation and when you can't. And unfortunately, most creationists and, and believers in general can't even agree with each other on what div uh, divine revelation is. They can't define their terms, let alone provide a model for a way to get information. So, yeah, evolution is true is a scientific claim that's based on evidence, conforms to reality, and you can make predictions off it in the same way that I know that I can do this and then 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 this and this 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 what's gonna happen next can you make a prediction based on evidence about what's gonna happen next this maybe huh huh yeah thanks for watching